crisis, Meg! Up! Doesn't happen. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So happy you guys are here. Oh my gosh, it has been a while since I've done like an unboxing and review type video since we remodeled this room. Yeah, for those of you guys out there who may not know, my husband and I remodeled this entire room at the end of December 2021. I have that video on my channel now if you want to check it out and see everything that is in this room, like all of my collection in its entirety. I have a link down there in the description if you want to check that video out and watch it. It's, I think it's pretty cool to look at. I even like to go back and watch it and see the time lapse of like painting every single wall and moving the shelves in and taking things down. It's a pretty neat video if you ask me. But yeah, it's now February 2022. I am just now getting into an unboxing and review for the first time with my new backdrop. So exciting. Well, okay, let's back that up a little bit. I know I kind of let you guys know about my teeth issues that I had. I am now back to 100%. You guys sent the most sweetest kindest comments and messages to me during that time and it really helped me like pull through it all so thank you guys so much for the kind comments and messages you guys are awesome i got my moon crisis compact proplica a couple weeks back we're going to open it on the channel we're going to do a full unboxing and review you guys know they come in these brown cardboard boxes this is our second sailor moon eternal proplica the first being the moon kaleidoscope back here behind me so I pre-ordered this from Big in Japan, which for those of you guys who know, Big in Japan is my favorite place to order the Proplicas as they get the Japanese release. There is a Japanese release and an international release. They're both the same product. The only difference is the Japanese release does get released earlier, sometimes a month to several months earlier than the international release. So if you want to get a Proplica first, the Japanese release is the way to go but if you're super duper patient it really honestly doesn't matter for an example of what i mean you can check out sailormoonfannetwork.com i run that website with a couple of my bffs we keep you guys up to date on the latest sailor moon news and merchandise drops including this crisis moon proplica when it went up for pre-order last august bookmark our site guys it's an excellent resource and we list various places to order all of these items you have choices you are not just pinpointed to one direction we want you guys to be able to research and pick the best ordering spot like pre-ordering spot ordering spot for you we work around the clock and we update it daily but yeah back to the crisis moon compact they started the japanese pre-orders august 6th 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 oh my god <laughs> trying to say that word 2021 and then the international pre-orders they came soon after they kind of trickled in a tip that i love to give to newer collectors or maybe just new fans into the series who want to buy the proplicas is do not buy from a proxy if you can help it proplicas always get a japanese and an international release from a variety of different retailers they are readily and easily available that means you'll have a lot of different choices on where you can pre-order them from. You won't have to pay a proxy service for a commission. You'll be paying the retail price for the Proplica. So that's going to save you money. And I know we all need to be saving money because Sailor Moon is not slowing down. We are going to be getting more merch in 2022, especially with the 30th anniversary of Sailor Moon this year. Happy 30th anniversary, Sailor Moon. So yeah, any any possible ways you can save money, that's a good thing. Our website, SailorMoonFanNetwork.com, will continue to monitor all new releases. So if there is a new Proplica that comes out later, we'll make sure to list all of the reliable pre-order places that um, we can find in one convenient blog post. Keep an eye on our socials for when we have new news and new merchandise news. We'll definitely make sure you guys are stayed up or stay. Oh my God. We'll definitely make sure you guys stay up to date. There we go. It's been a while since I've been on video, guys, like, like this. <laughs> you are going to want to keep tabs on the next Proplica because pre-orders typically do sell out. And I do see a lot of upset people who waited too long or maybe were on the fence about pre-ordering. And then they come to me and they're like, Ochi, we're going to find the Proplica. I missed out on the pre-orders. If you really know that you're going to want it later on, definitely secure a pre-order. But that's not your only chance to get a Proplica. Some retailers in the USA, like Box Lunch and Hot Topic, um, Amazon, Entertainment Earth, those types of places, they typically do get in extra for stock when they are released. You could 
have a second chance to secure one if you missed out on the initial pre-orders. So that's something to think about too. Hot Topic and Box Lunch have reliably stocked the Proplicas once they have their international release here in the United States. They are very limited though, so they do sell out. So you'll have to be on it or, you know, making sure you're following me on Twitter or Facebook um, because I will definitely post when I see Hot Topic get the Crisis Moon Proplica if you're still needing one. But like I said, I always see a lot of fans get upset when they miss out on the pre-orders. So I wanted to make sure I kind of like, you know, told you my um, personal experience and collector tips on the drops of these Proplicas and what I have personally seen over the years of collecting every single Proplica. But yeah, mine's the Japanese release, came out January 2022. The international release is saying right now, March to April 2022. I'll keep an eye on that, make sure it stays accurate to that and update the site if it changes. But yeah, we'll go ahead and open it up. It is taped here and I love how they ship these in the cardboard box because they also ship it in another shipping box. So it's extra secured in the shipping box coming to you. And what I love to do with these, especially if you guys um, have other collections and stuff, I keep these cardboard boxes and I use them to prop up my collectibles in my uh, on my shelves. So if you guys like want to keep this cardboard box for that purpose, it's a great purpose. You know, it's, you're already getting it with your items so you don't have to buy any, um, I don't know, stands or any items to help prop up your collection. Just use the free cardboard boxes the Proplicas come with. I really like the long ones with the wands. Those are awesome for propping up stuff. Oh my gosh, the tape kind of ripped the tissue paper a little bit off of that, but uh, the Proplica does come wrapped in tissue paper. Yeah, you get to like unwrap your Proplica. We'll do that, we'll make a mess, why not? It's like Christmas. The box is fantastic. I love the Tamashii Nation's quality sticker. They're always holographic and beautiful. It's a good size box too, as you guys are uh, seeing on the screen. We have a lot of different images of the Proplica inside. I mean, all sides have something to see on this box. It's pretty cool. Something to note, the Japanese ones will come with a gold Toei animation sticker. The international ones usually have a silver English sticker. That's the only difference in the Japanese and the international release is the Toei animation sticker for the most part. <laughs> Same product on the inside. We have tapes on the, the top sides right here. And then we have tape here, tape here, tape here. And that's where I'm going to open mine up. Let's do this. Here's the thing, mitten box collectors. You're going to have to open these eventually. So when the Propica line first came out many years ago, they did not come with batteries installed. However, all of the newer ones and recent releases, they come with batteries installed. You're gonna have to open it up eventually or it will corrode. Corrosion is a hit or miss. You never know when it's gonna happen and you never know if it's gonna ruin your item. It's just safe to go ahead and open up your Proplica when you get it and either play with it, keep the batteries in for a little bit or remove them and then put them in storage. So I opened mine from the bottom of the box. We have a, a silhouette of Super Sailor Moon here. And since I'm opening up mine the opposite way of what, you know, normal people would do, you're gonna see the stand first and then you can just pull it out. It comes completely encased in plastic, securing it in. And then we also have an instruction manual in here, which is gonna be handy. And then there's the inside of the box too. We get another silhouette of Super Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon Eternal, the movies. It does not look like this part is taped. So there is a cover piece on this and it looks like you can just pop it off. No tape to remove at all. It is encased in this plastic bag. No tape whatsoever for this. Are you guys ready? You guys are gonna see it before me. Ooh, I hope it's beautiful. Let me know down there in the comments what you think of it, please, throughout this video. If you guys have anything to say, please share your comments down below to interact with other Moonies. Okay, I'm just really studying it. You know, I always like to look for any flaws or any scratches or anything. Right off the bat, mine has a little black dot stuck in the, um, what do you call that? The pink part of the compact here. That's kind of a bummer. Not a huge big deal. I would say the gold parts on it, the shiny gold parts, no scratches. It looks fantastic. Super happy that there aren't any scratches on there. The back kind of has that pearly 
pink color to it. I love how they uh, make the little sound holes. They have little, what is it, stars and moons for the sound to come out of. Such a clever design, you know, someone back there is uh, out there thinking about us, making it cute. All sorts of cute. Oh my gosh, my baby boy just meowed. Where my cat lovers at? Does your cat always hate when they get locked out of a room because he's out there crying like a little baby? I hear you, buddy. I'll give you some snacks in a bit, bro. We cannot forget the little pedestal. This was just sitting in the bottom part of the plastic, not wrapped in anything. It's very cute. We have all of the planetary symbols on this pedestal and this can display the compact while opened or closed. This is completely different than what we thought we were getting though. Um, <laughs> back in, uh, what was it, 2019 when they first teased the image of the Crisis Moon Compact, they had it on like some sort of vertical pedestal, which I thought was awesome. I wanted to display my compacts like this, not like this. <laughs> So it was kind of disappointing that we didn't get that type of stand. I'm actually thankful they're even including a pedestal these days because the first Proplicas of the compacts did not include a pedestal. So I guess we should count our lucky stars. Get it? Stars that we actually just got a some sort of stand to go with our compacts. I'm glad that they're been starting to incorporate those in the last couple of compacts that we got. I guess we should just open up the compact. I have not pulled the little battery string out yet, string, little plastic tab, you know, to activate the compact. It's freaking beautiful. We do have a film on the top of the mirror here. I'm not gonna remove that. I like to keep mine intact. The rainbow effect of the ribbons is fantastic. It's beautiful. All in all, the paint on the inside, perfect. No critiques there. To get to the batteries, they do say you need to lift from the top part here, and then it should just come undone like that. And that's what it looks like. There's our little plastic tab that I was saying to activate the sounds. Should be activated now as long as my batteries didn't die. Right now the little switch is in the middle between the A and the B. That means that the compact is off. So if you push any buttons it will not play any music. The A side is the um, quieter sound. And then the B side is the louder sound. And for this video of course we'll be uh, using the louder sound. Switch it over and it does that little shing effect to it. So now that I have the B mode selected, I'm going to go ahead and put the cover back on it. Oh, there are quite a lot of sounds that this compact can make. I'm going to show you guys every single one in its entirety with the translation of what Kotono actually says, because they only use the Japanese voice actress Kotono for this. So it will all be in Japanese, but I'll have a translation for you guys on every bit of the sounds. So yeah, let's get to the demonstration part.
What did you guys think? Isn't it awesome? Oh my gosh, I love it. They have just actual voice recordings from the movie. Like, you know, when Sailor Moon is talking to Nehalania, you know, telling her that, no, the planet does not belong to you. It belongs to the people of Earth. And then they have Moon Color Chain On or Chan On. I, I can never pronounce that word, which is the actual theme song for the Sailor Moon Eternal movies very awesome that they included so many different types of sounds and transformation music and background music and the actual theme songs this is a pretty powerful thing guys not as powerful as the silver crystal it's amazing and don't forget guys this is one to one scale as accurate as possible to sailor moon size it's gorgeous i'm so happy i finally got it it can go with my moon kaleidoscope up here. I'm gonna try to figure out what I want as far as display wise, how I want to display it. I'm still kind of working through displaying my items and getting them how I want them. If I had to recommend an item that maybe new Sailor Moon fans should own or maybe Sailor Moon fans that are just wanting to, you know, dip their feet in the collecting world, definitely recommend the Propica line. They're amazing. I know they're expensive, but when you're not buying a whole bunch of stuff, maybe you can afford one once in a while. They're super duper good quality. I think they keep getting better. I can't wait to see what's next. If you guys watched my review and you have decided you have to own this, like I said earlier in the video, don't you worry. I do believe once the United States gets their stock, I want to say maybe March through April, Hot Topic and Box Lunch will get a run of them to sell on their site. So that'll be another opportunity for folks in the USA to grab a Propica for themselves. And I'll keep an eye out and check daily and make sure to update you guys through my Twitter or my Facebook when I see them. So start saving up because this is how much they cost in the USA. They're not cheap, but worth it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the sounds and everything that this Crisis Moon Compact can do. Stick around for the bloopers to uh, see why I'm laughing. <laughs> I, I'm going to have some bloopers in the end if you guys want to see. But uh, yeah, if you haven't yet, please hit that thumbs up button for me. Comment down below. I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts on what you think of this Proplica. Is it something that you had on pre-order? Or are you going to try to get it later from like Hot Topic or Box Lunch? Let us know down there in the comments. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you guys are new here. I'm on the road to 15,000 subs. I'm really hoping we can at least get there first quarter. 2022 and you hitting that subscribe button and joining the fam here will help me get to that goal appreciate you guys so much more videos are coming soon you guys know i got your back check out sailormoonfannetwork.com for the latest sailor moon news and merchandise drops bye guys for those of you guys who missed out on the initial pre-order of the moon crisis proplica why do i keep saying moon crisis compact it's
it's ah! i always have dyslexia with this compact name i always want to cr call it the moon crisis compact but it's the crisis moon compact i cannot for the life of me get it straight i'm always swapping them i'm always swapping them oh my god wouldn't that be bad if i just accidentally just chucked this across the room oh i'd be devastated and break down right here on camera y'all don't need to see that crisis moon compact oh my god i got it right this time i did not say moon crisis i said crisis moon getting there. The dyslexia, I tell you.